champions of Europe, champions of the world, champions of England. Andrew Robertson has come a very long way. Following his depression after getting kicked out from his dream club at the age of 15, he's come through a long period full of struggles. Going through rough years, he posted this on his Twitter account when he was working at the women's lingerie section at Marks and Spencer's when he was 18 years old. And when his parents told him to stop football and explore academics, he almost quit football. But in the end, Andy Robertson decided to take things back into his hands to fight and reach the peak of football. Andrew Robertson was born on the 11th of March 1994 in Glasgow, Scotland. He grew up with his little brother and parents. Young Robertson attended St Ninian's High School in Gifnock, East Renfrewshire. Along with his school, he joined Gifnock Soccer Centre, which was right next to his school. He used to play four-a-side football at the Gifnock Soccer Centre. At the age of nine, he joined the Celtic youth team. Andy Robertson was a huge Celtic fan. He was over the moon when he made it to the Celtic youth team. He was soon appointed to captain his school team at the age of 12. He progressed through the ranks of Celtic. But something very bad happened. He was released by Celtic at under 15 level. He was considered to be too small and timid to play at the highest level. Without a doubt, he was short and lean at 15. But the little boy didn't expect this from his dream club. You know, the day you get, you know, told it's like your world ends, you mean a 15 year old boy. Please. He was devastated. He locked himself inside the house and stopped playing football. It took some time, but this built a fire inside of him. He wanted to prove the skeptics wrong. So after a break from football for a year, Andy was back playing football. In 2012, he joined Queen's Park, a third division Scottish team. In his first year at Queen's Park, Robertson was still struggling to find his form back and the club couldn't pay Robertson much. The amateur club only paid their players travel expenses. This meant the young fullback had no choice but to find work outside of football. And he worked in Hampden Park, taking phone calls and attending to ticket orders for games. He also worked part-time in Marks and Spencers on Social Street in Glasgow. I actually worked a couple of shifts on women's lingerie. They were short on staff and I got flung up there. You just talk shit and hopefully they buy it, Andy said. This is when the legendary tweet was born. Life at this age is rubbish with no money. Hashtag need a job. Things weren't going in the right direction at all. Andy was struggling. He was 18 years old. It was around this time he was considering quitting football and began looking at college options instead. But finally, his efforts were being recognised. He made his debut as a left-back in the Queen's Park first team in July 2012. This gave him that little push to continue with football. Then, he decided to keep playing. But it was just a matter of time, and Robertson's football career began to escalate. He went on to make a total of 40 appearances for Queen's during the season, and helped them secure a third-place finish in the 2012-2013 season. His potential was then noticed by the Scottish Premier League club Dundee United. He moved to Dundee in 2013. He made quite an impression early on at Dundee and was a regular starter from the get-go. He did remarkably well in the Scottish League and was awarded the PFA Scotland Young Player of the Year in 2014. The same year, he was also named in the PFA Scotland Team of the Year for the 2013-14 Scottish Premiership. This is when the Scottish national team showed interest in him. He was picked by the Scotland Under-21 team. In 2014, he scored his first goal for Scotland against England, in which they were defeated 3-1. This isn't over! Meanwhile, the young player's potential was tracked by Steve Bruce, the coach of Hull City. Hull City at that time played in the English Premier League. Dundee United reached an agreement to transfer Robertson for £2.85 million to Hull City in 2014. 
Unfortunately, in his debut season at the club, Hull City were relegated. But Robertson's performance that season impressed many. Former teammate Hatton Ben Arthur said Hull's performances were poor, but there was a player whose performance was super, super, super good. And that player was Robertson. Robertson stayed in the championship with Hull and helped them climb back into the Premier League. Sadly, Hull City were relegated again at the end of the season, but this time Robertson didn't go down with them. Liverpool were looking for a fullback, initially as a backup to Alberto Moreno, and in the summer of 2017, Robertson began a crucial chapter in his life. On the 21st of July 2017, Robertson signed a long term contract with Liverpool for £8 million. He thrived and improved himself very well at Liverpool. Soon he made a good reputation and won lots of awards. In January 2019, he signed a new five-year contract with the team. Since then, he has had one of the best careers a player could have in his early seasons at the club. Robertson has won the Premier League, Champions League, UEFA Super Cup, Club World Cup and several individual awards at Liverpool. All of this in just three years, during which time he was also appointed captain of the Scottish national team. When asked Andy about his career today, he says being kicked out of his dream club was the best thing that ever happened to him. And it makes sense. Today, Robertson is one of the world's best left backs who has won the Champions League, the Premier League and is the captain of his national side at just 25 years of age. Nailed it! An extraordinary rise for a kid from Glasgow, no one could have ever bet on this happening. Over the years, Robertson has proved that you should never give up. By fighting his own fear and self-doubts, he managed to shine on the sport that he loved. Robertson realized that he was meant to play football. To get where he had to go, he had to work very hard. When circumstances got difficult, he almost quit, but he bravely kept fighting. Tribute to him in the best possible way, and today, he is one of the best in his field. So, don't let others dictate your life. Be stronger than ever, and be the master of your own destiny. Because even when you're at your lowest, it's possible to reach the very top.